Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this photo display and other ways you can decorate your room for fall. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is a photo display. I bought mine at Marshalls, but you can find it just about anywhere or you can order it online. Um, the other thing you'll need is um, a garland. I bought two from the dollar store. And you'll also need some of the string lights with the little clips and also some photos. Okay, so first I'm gonna start out by taking off the photos I already have on there. Um, you can decide what type of photos you wanna put on. I have little Polaroids that I like to um, put on here, but you can use any size of um, photos that you'd like or even little note cards that you want to put up. Okay, so these are the string lights that I have. Um, most of them are battery operated, at least the ones I have purchased. Um, and they usually have a switch where it will um, turn off automatically and that saves you a lot of batteries. The bad thing about these is that it's usually hard to hide, especially when you're putting it on a wall. So I'm going to show you guys a trick that you can do to hide it. Okay, so learn from my mistakes and do the leaves first and then the clips because they will get all tangled up and it's very hard to work with. Okay, so here um, I will show you how you can get it to stay on without using glue. So these are very simple. Just take out the stem and put the little loop on there and that's how you will um, get it to stay and you do not need to use any glue. And just do that on both sides and then put it around the wood or um, the metal whatever you're using on your photo display so here you can see that I looped it around it and then I had it um, hooked on there okay so I did the same thing on the other side of camera and this is just the easiest way um, to get it on there without ruining the photo display and you can always switch it out with a different theme um, so this is how it turned out I did it upside down that way um, it looks like the leaves are falling and I didn't add the second garland just because it was too much instead I went ahead and bought these little um, flowers uh, they're called dribbling blossoms and they were also from the dollar store and I just took them out of the stem and got them hooked on there Next is time to put on the little string lights and uh, you just want to stretch them out first and before you hook them on I would suggest to kind of move them around to see where it would fit because then it gets all tangled up as well so I went ahead and did that and this is how I wanted it and then next we're going to add the um, little Polaroids. I need to get new ones for fall but these are the ones that I have from summer so I'm going to use these. So this is what I meant by hard to hide. Uh, you can see this from far away, so we're going to try and fix that. And so back here, there's some space. So we're going to put the battery pack back there. And then we're going to get some little tacks. And try to use a color that will blend in with the leaves or whatever color you're using. So I'm using orange yellowish. And so... Those are the ones that I found in my room. So we're going to put that back there and then we're going to put the pack, the battery pack on top of it. So as you can see, you can still see it a little bit, but it's not as bad as before. So the next thing that I did, I connected two garlands together and then I just hung them over my window. And then I turned on my string lights that I usually have on. Um, they are little stars, so they're perfect for the theme. When I think about fall, I usually think about 
pumpkins and candles and that's exactly what I did on my nightstand so I added a pumpkin with a candle and my theme is pink so I did uh, the pink um, pumpkin and then I also bought this little cute um, candle holder from TJ Maxx and I added some string lights in there as well and these have actually lasted me for a long time and they are from the dollar store so I definitely recommend them so what I why I chose this pumpkin was because you can easily turn it for um, Halloween and then once Halloween is over you can just turn it around and it still looks like a fall decorative item and this is how it looks when you turn off the light. I think it's pretty cute. I'm really glad I bought this piece because I can always just use it for next year. And yeah, well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, guys.